Hi, my name is Jason Impey and I'm an independent filmmaker and I first got into filmmaking way back when I was a kid in the uh, mid 90s. Um, I was like, about 10 years old and that's when I made my first short film, a really crap short film. Before then, I had always had an interest in film and, and why things were shot the way they were, why a director and a filmmaker would choose to use different styles and lighting techniques. I was at a very young age, literally from the age of five, I was fascinated and I was watching a lot of naughty horror films I shouldn't have been and it just kind of added to my uh, more passion that I wanted to go and find out why, what, where, how, all these questions. I wasn't, I was enjoying the films but it was more than that and this led to me to getting a group of friends together and dragging my dad in who had his home movie camera and was very, in his younger days, eager to film family videos and stuff so he borrowed him and his camera to shoot a short film which was kind of a rip-off film of a film I loved and it you know, I, I was very young and naive and I thought it was going to be this masterpiece and it was absolute crap. I was having a go at my dad editing it on the VCR wrong and all that sort of stuff. Um, but it was a massive experience that just led me to wanting to do more. So this led me to go into studying film at college straight from school. Um, so realistically, my first proper indie horror film project out of being a kid and out of college would have been uh, when I was um, 19, which was my short film obsession, which was uh, all me being all horror and with no strings and no, no one attached. I was free reign on, on everything. And um, it was a great fun experience. It was hard. And as always, I was disappointed with the outcome. And I always say I'm still to this day in my work. But I was always... Um, I'm a perfectionist. Being autistic probably doesn't help. Um, discovering um, I'm autistic later in life makes makes a lot of sense to me in my filmmaking. That um, everything has to be just so, and it really drives me mad when it isn't. And if you're if you've got any experience in indie film, you know that nothing is just so. Nothing falls together. So it's it's a continuous nightmare in my head. Um, and. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to making a film in all areas, but particularly in the editing, I'm, I'm so technical minded that every little thing bothers me and it, I find it really hard to let go of an edit. Watching some of my films you wouldn't think this because they're all full of faults, but it's true. Um, and how long have I been doing it? Well. I've been doing filmmaking for decades, absolute decades. As I said, I started when I was 10, unofficially, trained up in my mid to late teens, and then late teens, I've been freelancing as a filmmaker and done it ever since, and um, I'm mid-30s now, so long, long time. Um, it's been a hell of an experience. I wouldn't change it for the world, but uh, I've learned a lot. There's been a lot of bumpy paths, and it's... Um, Sometimes it's hard to keep going, but it's the passion. I literally, I do filmmaking for the passion of film. I love the art of film, and that is what made me go into it, and that's what makes me continue to go. It's it's more than just a job for me. It's a hobby, a passion, an interest, a, a way of expressing myself. There's a lot of reasons that, that keep it going. Even when I'm at the, the brink, I'll remember the uh, films that inspired me and the the highs that I've had in life on some sets and some shoots and seeing my films out there it's sometimes enough to call upon in myself to keep me going what I've um, what I've currently worked on well I, I um, recently I spent a few years doing a passion project and that was a uh, Vipco the Untold Story. Uh, being a big film lover and horror film lover and a uh, big fan of Video Nasties, growing up obviously collected Vipco like most people in the UK I think did. Um, I have a lot of nostalgic memories of the label and this led me to uh, going out doing a documentary which I ended up taking on the whole documentary myself in the end and um, spent a few years uh, piecing that together, travelling around, filming interviews. Um, because in my past, making one of my short films, I was in touch with Michael Lee uh, from Vipco and it nearly did get a, a green light to be made into a feature to get released on the Vipco label, but unfortunately that didn't happen. But years and years later, I've used that to create this documentary. Uh, it's, um, I'm pretty proud of, to be honest. As always, I'm critical of my own work, but it was a passion project. It was a project that I did through the worst time of my life and I still managed to actually uh, get this thing finished and made and released so sometimes when I look at that that's an achievement in itself um, 
you wouldn't believe the stuff that I went through while making that but it um, it was my passion as I said of being a filmmaker and loving film that kept me going really and and also got that to the finish line and I'm really pleased with that that was what I kind of just come off of I am now catching up on edits there's a fair few edits that I'm working on a a kind of lost film that I made many years ago which I've got all the footage for and uh, various reasons there was an edit that was lost for a technical fault and then there was all kinds of things that life threw at me in the world of film but I've, I've got this footage of this film I shot that's never really been released and I'm working on actually doing my lost film which I'm hoping to have completed this year in a final edit for once and released and um, I'm also finishing another documentary that I've shot so to be honest my time at the moment consists of a lot of post-production and a lot of editing which you know is nice to relax and get away from the madness of shoots Um, the advice I'd give to people wanting to get into film and like indie film is um, don't give up actually is a big bit of advice because there's many times where I've thrown a strop and uh, I've nearly been ready to throw in the towel because of various reasons but I would say try to overcome the negatives and think of the positives and I know that is easier said than done especially to myself but film is very personal to people and if you're making a film it's means something to you it's usually you expressing yourself it's usually your piece of art so remember that and just there's no right or wrong way of doing it there's techniques there's studying and learning film but essentially you're making a piece of art you're making a film which is a piece of art that you know, no one can tell you can and can't shoot something that way you can and can't edit it that way you can and can't tell a story that way so be true to yourself don't give up and express yourself on film as best you can it's your it's your creativity don't let anyone take that away from you and persistence you know if if something don't work if it if you critical of yourself take it as a learning curve and try again um giving up is very sad sometimes when you know there's some talented filmmakers out there i've worked with some people that i think have been pretty good in their potential and i think their flame dies out and they kind of don't really pursue it which is a shame so my advice is just stick with it if it's something you want to do and you're passionate enough and got a, enough interest then go for it just don't don't let don't be stopped by anything don't be put off by anything and listen to advice listen to feedback but take it on the chin because there was a time where I was getting a lot of bad reviews and I looked at them and it, it really knocked my confidence but you know what even massive big Hollywood films get bad reviews you can't please everyone and as I said no one's going to agree with your vision not everyone's going to agree um, if anything I find it fun when I upset people and offend people in my films it's part you know it gets a reaction any reaction's better than no reaction right um, so promoting myself um, I have a website which is uh, jasonimpy.co.uk which is getting a big update with all my latest work because there's been a lot going on. I have a YouTube channel which is jason666films which mainly houses a lot of uh, trailers and a few shorts and behind the scenes but it's, um, it's a way of looking at previous features I've done through trailers and stuff. There's quite a lot out there I've, uh, I've done so yeah um, it's very easy to kind of find information on the, some of my features. Um, they're all around worldwide in various forms and under various titles and various edits. Um, my film Tortured has several edits <laughs> due to reasons um, and is known as several titles but all this can be found on my YouTube and website which is currently being updated but is online but will be further updated. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed.